Do I what now? No, I don't eat fruit. Um, well, I would say it's too much sugar, but I'm, uh, it's gotta be less sugar than donuts or more. Maybe donuts are healthier. We should start looking into that. I don't want to just go ahead and start eating apples or something randomly without, uh, without some proof. Steve Weiner here from GetRebix.com, and today we're going to take a look at how Intune can help manage your Mac OS devices. So if you do that and you want to get started, then we'll get started. I have nothing else to say about it right now. Grapes, why don't you get the heck out of here? Okay, so today we're going to go over the basics of uh, how we can set things up in Intune. Uh, let's prepare for our Mac enrollment, and then we're just going to uh, take a, a Mac device and we're going to go ahead and manually enroll it. We'll get into the future of like, you know, auto enrolling and provisioning. We'll get to that, in, you know, later at some point. But today we're going to start with the basics. So I'm going to go to devices just like always, only today I'm going to go to Mac OS. Okay, so obviously we don't have any devices in here. Let's take a look at a few things. Let's start with Mac OS enrollment. Okay, so we need a push certificate. Okay, so where do you get a push certificate from? How does that work? Okay, so is the first thing we do is we click agree. Okay, and then we have to download our uh, uh, basically a CSR, right? It's the type of certificate um, from Intune. So we're going to go grab that. That's going to download to your downloads folder. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and create an Apple MDM push certificate. So this should take you to the correct link. You're going to need an Apple ID to sign in with. I recommend making one just for this. Uh, I am going to use my personal one though. So don't judge me. I mean, you can judge me. I don't really care. And you get that two factor authentication on. Yep, we don't need that in the way. All right, so it looks like we've been doing this for a minute now. <laughs> All right, let's create one. There was a time before Intune. Okay, this is the Steve Capacity Tenant Mac MDM cert. That's fine. Uh, so before they'll give us the cert, we have to go ahead and choose the one we downloaded so it knows we're getting that from Intune um, and now we can download it and it'll give it back to us. There it is. So we just go back to Intune. Uh, we're going to put our Apple ID in and I really should have made one. And then we're going to select the cert. We're going to upload and look at that. It's been successfully created. Okay. We're good there. We're good there. So now we got our cert. Okay. Um, we can use uh, a whole bunch of Apple enrollment methods. So Apple configurator, that's something we're going to look at eventually. Enrollment programs, this would be your automated deployment with Apple Business Manager or for education, it would be Apple School Manager. Um, and uh, let's take a look real quick at enrollment types, manage user enrollment types. So I'm going to create a profile here. Uh, let's just call this default Mac. Uh, default Mac. Mac enrollment profile. And let's just look at our options here. So device enrollment with company portal, that's going to be your uh, self-driven account driven user enrollment. Okay. Uh, user enrollment with company portal device enrollment, web based device enrollment. So there's a lot of different uh, determined based on user choice. So there's a whole bunch of different ways we can go about enrolling. I definitely recommend in this situation, clicking on the learn more and reading about the different types, right? I think it's really important to understand the implications, device versus user. Um, so just to open us up uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it on determined based on user choice. Um, I'm going to make that for all my users. Okay. Did that, uh, that should have been assigned. Let me see here. Yes. Okay. One thing I do want to do though, is I want to start creating a device group dynamically for Mac devices. So let's go ahead and go to groups because even though windows stuff won't apply, let's like start keeping it tidy. So we're going to make a new group and we're going to call this uh, Mac OS 
devices. And we're going to call this all Mac OS devices, just so we, we know this is everything in case we make separate groups later on. So dynamic device group. Let's build the query. Now we should be able to choose a property device OS type equals. Now this should be Mac OS. Okay, we want that e that value to be Mac OS. Now, if there's older Macs in the environment, uh, we may need some different rules. There's also some more custom dynamic rules we can do, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this kind of basic right now. Um, just that the OA OS type is equal to Mac OS. And we're gonna save that and we're gonna create that. Okay, cool. Um, so let's talk about enrolling now that we have that. So I'm going to go ahead and shift gears for a second. And uh, we're going to take a look at my Mac device here. So for today, we're going to do this self enrollment thing. So basically, Microsoft makes a link available for enroll my Mac. Um, and this will essentially grab us the company portal. This is a link you can email to employees to instruct them to do that. Um, and, you know, we're going to talk about more about different enrollment methods later. Um, but this was just at, uh, I'll put the link below where you can get this. So we're going to allow, and we're going to install the company portal. Agree, install, password, close. Okay, great. Let's close that. Now it looks like it's uh, auto updating or auto launching. Uh, let's go ahead and look for that app. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and launch company portal and we're going to sign in. So we're going to use Rick Jones at stevecapacity.com. You can already see we have the same OAuth prompt we've had um, with the Windows devices. Uh, let's see here. Okay, set up access. So we're going to hit begin. Uh, this is really nice when you're all from company portal. It lets the users see what their org can and can't see, right? As far as uh, the limits of an, uh, enrolling a device. So it's registering the Mac to Azure. Now what it's going to do is it's going to download the profile. Double click to review. Did it work? There we go. So this is my profile that's coming from my org. So I'm going to install it. And this will basically allow uh, the device to be managed by Intune. Okay. Now the management's there. Select install, come back to company portal. So it's just going to check and make sure it's installed. Um, yep. Now let's feel free to browse the web or make a cup of coffee while we finish up. Don't mind if I do. And there we go. Um, but what about some policy, right? So let's take a look back and in tune at uh, what we've set uh, for the Mac. So I'm going to go click on Mac. Let's see if the device has showed up. Not yet. We'll give it a moment. Back at this in a moment. Configuration profiles. Okay. So I have two. I have... Um, Actually, I don't have these assigned yet, so now would be a good time to do that. So I have my main profile, which is my Mac restrictions. Let's take a look at some of the things we're doing. We're blocking Safari from autofilling. We're blocking Apple Music. That should be pretty obvious to see. We're blocking AirDrop. Okay, so checking back on the Mac side uh, for policy already, I went ahead and rebooted the device. So it already is making me change my password because we require a new one. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do this before I forget it. The poop emoji is not standard within T and that just is what it is. Okay, um, so let's take a look at some other settings and see if they're starting to kick in. Okay, it looks like Apple Music has been restricted. Let's look at some of the iCloud stuff. So let's try to sync this with iCloud. Okay, and we should see some limitations. Action cannot be completed. Okay, great. So that's blocked. Okay, let's take a look at a few other things here. Let's see if 
our handoff is blocked. Airdrop. Okay, airdrop is not here anymore. Let's see if we can find airdrop up here. Airdrop and handoff. Setting has been configured by a profile. The setting has been configured by a profile. All right, looks like it's working. Okay, so today we're able to prep Intune uh, for Mac with uh, creating groups, creating uh, a few basic uh, configurations, created the enrollment profile with the push notification. We took our Mac, we self-enrolled it, um, and we got the policies coming down. So pretty basic, but we got a Mac enrolled and managed. That's pretty good. Uh, next episodes, we're going to go through some app deployment, different methods of enrollment, and uh, some more stuff. So stay tuned. One, two.